Hey there, St uh, students sent me a question about graphing problem number 13 in section 4.1 and as I got into playing around with it, I realized ah, it was a little difficult. So I thought I would uh, do a little video on how to conquer problems of that nature. So we're wanting to graph two exponential functions on the same coordinate system. And notice that these are basically the same except this one has a negative in front. And if we recall back from chapter two, if there is a negative in front, that means it's gonna reflect across either the x or the y axis. And if you remember, if there was a negative in front of x squared, it caused that parabola to flip or reflect across the x axis. So what we wanna do is draw this one, and when we go to draw the second one, realize that this one's just gonna be a reflection of the first one across the x axis here. Uh, so to get started, we, can, uh, we need to make a table of values to get some reference points for uh, both of these graphs. So I would make a table of values, f of x equal 2 to the x, just pick a couple of numbers. So if I pick 0, that would be 2 to the 0 power. Remember, anything to the 0 power is 1. And I can pick 1. That's an easy number. 2 to the first power is 2. So there's really good reference points there. I can do the same thing over here. If I plug in a zero, I have a negative two to the zero power, which would be a negative one. And if I picked a one, I would have a negative two to the first power, which would be what? Negative two. So I've got reference points for both of them. That'll help me when I go to graph. And we could just, you know, write those as ordered pairs, a zero, one, and a one, two. And over here for this one, I'd have a 0, negative 1, and a 1, negative 2. So just kind of keep those in mind. So let's graph the 2 to the x. So I'm going to go to the graph here, and I'm going to maximize it. And to graph the exponentials, we're going to choose this feature right here, this curvy sort of shape. So I'm going to pick it, and when I do... I need to, as you can see, it's moving around on the graph, and I need to pick a reference point. So if I go back to the 2 to the x, I remember I had a reference point. When I plugged in a 0, I got a 1. So I'm going to go ahead and plot that. So there's my 2 to the x, but I need to come down here to make it accurate and tell it what base. So the base in this case is not E. I need to flip my computer around. Give me a second. Ugh. All right, I need to not type in E, but I need to have the base on this particular one, which is 2. And let me see if it's going to let me. Yeah, so I'm erasing the E. I'm putting in a 2. I'm going to save it, and you'll notice that it will change the graph just a little bit to represent 2 to the X. So if I hit Save, there is the graph of 2 to the X. And remember, we had another reference point. Uh, we had the reference point, if we picked a 1, it went up to 2, and you'll notice that right there is the point over 1, up 2. So there is 2 to the x. I'm going to do this again for negative 2 to the x. So I'm going to pick the little curvy shape there for my uh, exponential function. Remember the reference point for it, it was 0 and a negative 1. Now notice it's the yellow graph here, but what I want to do is make sure I have the base of 2 and that it's a reflection over the x-axis. Okay, I'm going to save that. So now there is 2 to the x, there is negative 2 to the x, and I'm just checking this point. It's over 1, down 2, so I'm good. The last thing I need to do is to graph the asymptote, and if you remember, Exponential functions have an asymptote at y equals 0, basically at the x-axis. Um, and that asymptote will shift up or down according to a vertical shift up or down <clears throat> in either of these two. But there aren't any vertical shifts up or down. So I don't need to shift the vertical asymptote. I just need to put it in here at the x-axis. So I'm going to draw a line because an asymptote is a line and I'm going to mark it here on the x-axis. But asymptotes have to be drawn as a dashed line, so I'm going to pick the dashed line feature here. 
and uh, let's see what else. Graph and give the equation. All right, so I've done the graph. I've graphed the asymptote as a dashed line. So I'm going to check that answer. Please be right. Please be right. Yes. Okay. So next part would be the equation of the asymptote. And since they're horizontal lines, it's always y equal to. And in this case, since it was not shifted anywhere, it's going to be y equals 0. So for both of them, the horizontal asymptote is going to be, these have horizontal asymptotes, it'll be y equal to, you always have to start it off with y equal to, in this case, 0. I'm going to check my answer, and I do believe I'm done with that one. I hope this is helpful.